But uh, before we close the show, I just want to give a shout out to uh, Tommy Smith, John Carlos, and Peter Norman. They're the three men that stood on the podium that we kind of, you know, mocked for our logo and everything. And they, uh, without them, we wouldn't have got the idea for this show. Uh, thank you to the three of you as athletes for standing up in the 60s for racial discrimination. What you did for holding your fist up was just so brave. And the, the way you were disrespected and then years later down the road, giving your medals back, I think it's still just so disrespectful. And uh, I hold you in the highest regard. I read something about Peter Norman, the Australian guy, the white guy, mm -hmm. actually. Because you can only think the like the the nerve-wracking things that were going in his head when this happened. Because he wore like a patch uh, that stood for like inequality when he was on the, the podium. And uh, when he went back to Australia, he was ostracized. Uh, he was a teacher. He wouldn't get hired for any jobs. And like these Olympic athletes in other countries don't get the endorsements and things like that unless your name is Usain Bolt. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? In the 60s, they weren't selling cash out for endorsements. He couldn't get a job anywhere. His family couldn't live anywhere without getting death threats. And uh, that didn't stop him. He continued to fight for the rights to aboriginals in Australia and even for black Americans. And, and he just did so much on the social activist side and just kept fighting through it. And I even read where uh, before the 2000 Australian Olympics, the Australian Olympic Committee gave him a chance to condemn Tommy Smith and John Carlos and said they were wrong for what they did and they would not ostracize him anymore. He'd be let back into like the sports community and all that kind of stuff. He said no. He declined that. And so that takes balls. As a white as a white male in that climate and it's just from what he went through, him taking all that abuse and I, I, I've got to give utmost respect to Peter Norman. Uh, but yeah, Peter Norman, John Carlos, Tommy Smith, thank you for what you did. We, we have a logo because of you and you know, so. Yeah, Peter Norman, I'm uh, I'm glad to take your uh, place in yeah, the podium. Yeah, yeah. Um, he was one of the greatest sprinters in Australian history. Some people consider him the greatest sprinter in Australian history. I'm just like, come on, Australia. Australia. You got either got a guy that fought racial discrimination and you got a murderer with no feet. So I'm just like, come on. Like, yeah. let's, let's stick to dude that like black people. That's all I'm He's saying. He's the fastest guy in your country's history. You should, and, and he and, had and, feet. Yeah. What Cat Williams call him? Poor little Tink Tink or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> I can make fun of him because he murdered a woman, okay? It's not because he don't have feet. It's because he's a murderer. I can Wait, are you talking about the Blade Runner? <laughs> the Blade Runner. Go, go, look up, go look up Cat Williams' sketch on uh, Oscar Wilde's story. Dude, so funny. Oh, no, I, so he's South, <laughs> he's South African, though. He's, he's not Australian. Oh, I thought he was Australian. He's <laughs> South African. Man, oh, that's why I was I was like, hey, I'm still funny though. I'm, I'm racist. All white dudes in the world are saying to me. If your name not Jeremy Warner, you from Australia. No, that was funny though. You know that what I'm saying? Funny, so, yeah. hey. I, I always want to say Blade Runner, anyways. All right, well, this has been a great episode of the podium. I didn't know that dude was South African. I thought it was Australian. I really thought dude was Australian. I'm did, sorry. Do we all sound alike to you? It's like, do you, do you think I was British? You not Australian. Just, I never. You sound more like me and Niles than you, Eric. Right. <laughs> I never heard of him talk. My bad. Hey, my bad, Australia. Uh, bad. Don't ban me. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, that's great. Well, uh, this has been an amazing episode of the podium. Uh, so Russell Dorsey from Chicago, um, Eric Abnante and Niles Absent, the comedians from LA. You know, you know. We'll say see.